Hello everyone, welcome to RASA. I am Tanya, a machine learning engineer at RASA. In this video, we will learn more about the contextual response with RASA, launched in RALBA 3.7. I will first start by explaining our motivation for creating the contextual response with RASA. Then I will share some highlights about the developer experience using this feature in a live demo. In the end, I will list some current limitations and give a short summary. Let's get started. Why should you use the contextual response with Fraser? The main objective for using the contextual response with Fraser is to respond to a user more naturally. The Refraser uses an LLM to rephrase your template responses, taking the context of the conversation into account. Using this feature, you avoid repeated responses. Normally, the bot responds with the same message to a repeated request. Using the contextual response with Fraser, the responses are rephrased so that the conversation sounds more natural and less robotic. The contextual response with Fraser also allows you to combine a request with a bit of small talk to improve conversation flow. Here are the key features of the contextual response with Fraser. Dynamic responses. As mentioned before, the responses generated by your bot will sound more natural and conversational. This enhances user interaction. Contextual awareness. If the LLM uses the context and the previous conversation turns to rephrase the template response, the responses are more aligned with the conversation history. Controllable. The contextual response with Fraser starts with an existing static template. Using this, we specify what the bot will say in the end, as the LLM is instructed to not modify the meaning of the response. Customizable. You can specify exactly what response templates should be rephrased. You can also modify and optimize the prompt used for rephrasing for your use case on a global or response template level. Let's dive right into the demo and take a look of at how the contextual response rephraser works. I have a very basic assistant that can help you transfer some money, replace a card, or check your balance, for example. Here are the corresponding flows for that. I have not configured the contextual response rephraser yet. We first want to take a look at the bot response, how the bot responds to out of scope messages. I have trained the bot and started the rather in Spectra. Let's start by typing in hello. The bot is using the attribute template to, um, to answer us. And now I'm typing in two different kinds of out of scope messages. I want to order some Italian food and uh, can you order a burger instead? Uh, both messages are um, answered by the utter cannot answer template, which is sorry, I cannot answer that type help for assistant. So we see that we get a repeated response from the bot, which is not ideal. And for completeness, I also typed in help so that we can see what the bot is actually capable of. So now let's take a look at how we can actually configure the contextual response rephraser to improve this kind of conversation flow. For that, we need to go into our endpoints.yaml file and configure the contextual response rephraser like this. So we need to add it under the NLG section. And um, that's basically it for, um, for, for, for adding the re contextual response rephraser. However, we also need to mention what kind of um, response templates should be rephrased. There are multiple options. Um, one is that we can use rephrase all equals to true, which means that all the templates we have configured in our assistance are rephrased by the contextual response rephraser. There are other options where you can also exclude certain templates from rephrasing or where you just enable rephrasing for um, some templates. I will show you how that is done um, later on. Another option you can configure for the contextual response rephraser is the prompt template. You can specify what kind of prompt template you want to use. 
um, by adding the file name to um, the prompt option right here. I copied over the default prompt template we are using for the contextual response rephraser so that we can have so that we can briefly have a look. So the prompt template um, describes what kind of an AI assistance um, we are and um, that the LLM should rephrase the response. It contains the conversation history, which is actually a summary of the conversation. And um, so that does not contain any slots or any um, critical information, basically. The current user input is also listed and um, as well as the latest response or the suggested response, which is basically the um, template you have defined in your assistant. And then the task is basically for the LLM to rephrase this suggested response, taking the current input and the history into account. You can modify this prompt template as you need and um, update it um, in a file and state it like this um, under the NLG option of the contextual response rephraser. Other options you can configure for the contextual response rephraser are the LLM. Um, so you can configure the model name and the temperature value for the LLM. By default, the contextual response rephraser is using the GP3, GPT 3.5 turbo model. I'm just using the GPT-4 model here for demonstration. And the default temperature value is set to 0 0.3. So I did not modify this because um, when you're setting this temperature value to a higher value, it results in more variable responses. And it may occur that the meaning of the rephrase response differs from the one which you have in the response template. So you don't want to set this, uh, this value to too high. So let's use this configuration now um, and see how the bot is basically behaving now. Therefore, we stop the browser inspector, retrain the model quickly. But the changes are also used by the assistant. And then we're going to start the browser inspector again to have another conversation with the bot. So remember, we now configured the response rephraser to rephrase everything. So we have now the hello, may I have help to hello, how may I help you today? Instead of the hello, how can I assist you? Um, so this is rephrase the attribute basically. Then I entered the, I want to order some Italian food, which is an autoscope message. And the bot responded with apologies. I'm unable to assist with that. Please type help for further support. And you see that the response for the other autoscope message is slightly different from, um, from the one before. So it's not a um, repeated request, a repeated response basically. And let's also type in help to see that um, the bot is actually also rephrasing the um, help method and keeping the structure of the um, help method in mind. So this is um, this looks good and um, it's much more natural than the conversation before. So now I want to show you um, how you can actually configure the, um, the rephrasing on a response level. So let's assume you want to rephrase almost everything, but you want to exclude one single template. Um, to achieve that, you need to add this kind of metadata to your response template. Um, this basically states now that every single template is rephrased except for the other template, because we set the rephrase here to false. Um, the other way around is that if you want to rephrase basically nothing, just one or two templates, you would remove um, this kind of option right here. And then this is also not needed anymore, but instead you would configure the metadata rephrase to true on those templates you actually want to have rephrasing for. 
Um, so now we want only to have um, the contextual response rephrase or rephrasing the other cannot answer template, or other templates should stay the same. And then there's one last option I wanted to show you, which is the rephrase prompt. So you can only um, specify a modified prompt template on the global level um, right here, but you can also do it on a response template level. So um, if you have a very specific response that needs maybe further instructions for the LLM, you can have a specified response uh, prompt template um, like this. I just copied over the default um, prompt template as we don't need any more information here or more instructions for the LLM. So we can actually also um, just comment it out again. But just wanted to show you how you actually con can configure the uh, the prompt template per response template level. Okay, so now let's um, retrain our bot again um, to consider that we just want to have rephrasing for the other cannot answer template and all other templates should stay as they are basically. Okay, I'm gonna start the browser inspector again. Let's greet the bot. And you see that this message is not um, rephrased anymore. And then we have, again, a rephrased method for the out of scope message. Um, the second one should also be a rephrased method uh, response of the utter cannot answer template. And there it is. And then the head message should to be the same as um, before without any rephrasing. Okay, so now you have an uh, um, overview of how the contextual response rephraser work and what kinds of configuration options you have to um, yeah, enable rephrasing for certain templates or for everything, and also what kind of configuration options there are to modify the LLM and the prompt template. You just saw how capable the contextual response rephraser is. However, we currently have two limitations. The first limitation is structured responses. If your template contains a certain structure like bullet points, this structure might be lost if you use the rephraser. In the demo, we just saw an example where this actually did not happen and the LLM kept the structure of the message. The second limitation is meaning alteration. In some cases, the LLM might not respond with a true paraphrase of your response template. However, you can reduce the likelihood of this happening by lowering the temperature value of the LLM. As a reminder, lower temperatures result in more predictable responses. Let's quickly summarize what you have learned in this video. The contextual response rephraser ensures a natural conversation by rephrasing the template responses using an LLM. You learned how to configure some or all response templates so that they are rephrased in a conversation. You also learned how to customize the LLM to your needs, for example, with a custom prompt template or by setting a different temperature value. For more information, please check out our documentation in the link shown on the slide. I hope you enjoyed this video and we would be thrilled to hear feedback in the comments. If you're not yet a Rasa Pro customer and you are interested in learning more, check out the link on the slide. Thank you for watching.